reporter Francis Ontomwa now joins us for an update. Francis, how are things on your end? Uh, well, Yvonne, uh, life is slowly picking up here. A couple of hours since Kenyans went to cast the ballot, life is slowly picking up. Uh, people are going back to their businesses slowly. Of course, even before the announcement, uh, the official announcement of the presidential election is made, life here seems to be taking uh, some normalcy here. Of course, today we've been crisscrossing -cross -cross actually parts of uh, Mombasa here, different uh, areas in the, in the in the states here, and uh, people are going on their businesses. We've seen traders, uh, small-scale traders and even large-scale traders actually doing their stuff here, uh, just to show you that life is slowly picking up. The results have been trickling here, at least uh, at, at constituency level, that is in the member of parliament uh, level, and at various uh, polling stations we were at the various Stalin centre actually here in Mombasa. We were at Mvita constituency where Abdul Somad Sharif Nasser, uh, the incumbent here, uh, the, the actually the, the constituency that hosts Mombasa town, he has recaptured his seat. We also had uh, Likoni where Mishimboko also captured uh, the seat, uh, snatching it away from Malim Moima, and uh, it was quite interesting actually uh, because uh, she is actually the only uh, member of parliament, elected woman member of parliament at least here in Mombasa, and we have therefore uh, quite colourful at that particular juncture. And also we also had a Changamwe Omar Mwenye also taking it away again for the for another round, and he'll be of course being is the the, the, the member of parliament continuing uh, of course for the another regime here, and the last. Lastly, of course, we also have uh, Kisauni and Nyali. And Kisauni and Nyali, I have to bring you up to speed. Those are the two constituencies that we are yet uh, to see this happening. The two constituencies are yet to finish their ver verification and confer those certificates to their respective winners. And in Nyali, of course, we had uh, Mohammed Ali, the, the, KTN, uh, the former KTN journalist, uh, snatching it away. And in Kisauni, Ali Mbogo of Waipa is closer, really, to be getting uh, the final crown. And those are the updates from this part of the country country fairly peacefully in Mombasa, people going on their businesses. Of course, a bit of norm, uh, uh, the situation has not really uh, 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 gone back or swung back to what uh, is normally the, 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 the scenario here. But by and large, things are quite okay here in Mombasa, Yvonne. Francis, thank you. Francis and Tom, our reporter there, joining us from Mombasa with the latest with regard um, to the situation post uh, the election or post Kenyans going to the polls. So let's take a, our second commercial break here on KTN Prime on Kivumbi 2017. We'll definitely be back with more. Don't go too far.